there were two main objectives um, that we were trying to achieve with our research. So the first focus on identifying the ancestral origins of contemporary Western honeybees. And what our research shows was the most likely origin is in Western Asia, which we hope will help settle this long standing debate that's been going around amongst uh, researchers about where the ancestral origins of the Western honeybee actually is. And the second objective focused on identifying the genes and the genetic variation associated with the adaptation of the Western honeybee. And what we found is that there is actually a group of genes um, common to all honeybee lineages that we found to be under positive selection and are likely associated with the adaptation of the species. That the honeybee is kind of amazing as, as a species. It's able to colonize really different environments, right? We're talking about mountains up in like Africa, uh, tropical Mediterranean, uh, uh, tropical areas, Mediterranean areas, and, and near deserts and, and really cold environments. So it has this amazing ability to adapt really well to the local conditions. We have very, very strong evidence that it's actually the ability of a worker, uh, workers by changing their behavior and changing the colony behavior is, is the key uh, trait that is uh, really important for allowing honeybees to essentially survive in these different environments. So uh, you have essentially adaptation by changing worker behavior, and, and that was a key finding. Uh, and surprisingly, it only involved a very small number of genes. So we're talking about out of maybe uh, 12, 14,000 genes in the bee genome, only a few hundreds that were kind of key for this uh, adaptive process. Additionally, by examining the species ancestral lineages, we also hope to gain a better understanding of commercial honeybee colonies, which we know are sort of a mixture of different honeybee lineages. So how does this um, admixture affect the honeybee health overall?